Hey everybody, Excalibur here, and my laryngitis is finally gone, or most of it. I can at least talk normally now. Before it was like this, or like this, and I couldn't really do any content, whether I was talking or not. Having sinusitis and bronchitis while talking for four days at a convention demoing games really wasn't the best way to keep my voice intact. Well, now that I'm back, we're going to be doing a Kickstarter unboxing. This is from Cheap Ass Games. It is a wonderful game that I have been waiting for for years and years and years. I've been waiting for this for years and years. The original game came out uh, back in the 90s, I think. It was back in the 90s. And the game I'm talking about is Button Men strategy dice game i have been wanting this game for a very long time i missed getting it before because i didn't know it existed and when i found out about it it became really hard to find or too expensive when i did find it so we're going to see what comes in the box and we're going to take a look at the little ex little pack bonus pack that we got so i'll put this in the garbage over here so here we go here's the front and uh, it, it's just straight up roll dice, kick butt. And this has 48 characters, 30 dice, and complete game rules. Now the game is for ages 12 and higher, and it's a two-player game. Ten minutes to play it, and it's pretty much a chaos luck game. Um, though there is some strategy to it. Now, I love these boxes. The box is nice. It's a nice linen finish, but I wish they had put thumb or finger holes on the side so that you could easily open it. Here we are. The box is open, and inside we have the button men, and it's beat people up. This is right here on the main rules. So this is it. This is the rules. Side one and side two. And they actually do have buttons. That's what the original game was. It was buttons. But this one here, we have cards for all the characters. And here we are with the cards. We'll go ahead and... Oh, it's none of these shrink wrap jobbies. But it's nice and soft. Let's see if I can rip it. Nope. Knife of face maiming to the rescue. I had, And that's where my dice went. I was looking for those. I was recently... Uh, playing a game of Warhammer and I needed D6s. I left them all here, unfortunately, because I am a doofus. Alright. Now these cards, while I'm sitting here thinking about it, are standard playing cards at 63.5. Yep. By 88 millimeters 89 millimeters so yeah these are these are standard playing cards so anything that can handle a magic the gathering card could work like mdg 77 7 the um the green uh card sleeves from mayday their card game card sleeves uh mdg 7077 mdg 7041 mdg 7105 they're the bargain brand but they should work because you're just trying to protect the cards you're not really shuffling them up a lot um and uh we have mdg 7141 if you want to cover up this beautiful artwork on the back of the cards by the way they they are linen finish and they are full art though we can show a couple couple of things here button men beat people up and so that was there's amelia Basil Tyron, Beatrice Reed Wheeler, <laughs> Ben Benito Buonasera. Buonasera? Buonasera. And there's a whole bunch of characters, a whole bunch of them. And I'm just going to zip through so you can see some of the art. I'm not going to show all the card because. Oh, and there's a, the guy from the cover. His name is. Porter Stratus. So if you ever wanted to know who he was, let's see here. Oh, I turned off autofocus, but there you go. Um, and not only do we have all the information on the back, if we flip this over, let me just get these back. Okay, 
we can flip them over and you've got all the stats at the bottom so you've got full art of, and there's uh, Tanya and Sejuan yep and I'm not showing the entire cards again we'll just show the card art but there are 48 different fighters here and what you're doing is you're rolling dice and checking against the numbers on the bottom so there you go and the artwork is awesome very awesome and then you got uh, the two here this is button men is a quick fighting strategy game for two or more players that enjoys arrow f um, for two more f players that enjoys Errol Flynn movies picnics in the shade and simple arithmetic there is never a time when it cannot be enjoyed by young and old alike and it likes to beat people up learn more at buttonmen.com so those are the cards I have a button in here which is button men button and then we have the dice so we've got d12s d20s d4s and d6s I don't think there and there are d8s so standard polyhedral dice set it looks like we've got black and we've got white one for both um, both players it looks like well, it looks like there's more white than black in here so it's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten black dice and one two Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. White dice. Now let's see what those blacks and white dice are all about. Should have um, a list of components. Okay, no, it doesn't list the components which is a sad thing but I'll be sure to read the rules and figure out how to play this in the future now let's go ahead and take a look at what comes in this little bubble wrap of awesomeness this is the fun envelope that's what um, Chief Ass Games calls this and it's got extra stuff in here first off we have some cards and some buttons let's pull these out and we've got a poker chip Let's look at this poker chip. This is uh, the Olympian Hotel and Casino. Fight City Button Men. MMXVII. 2007? Is that right? No. They're 2017. That's what that stands for. It's got the little pug on there. It's, really, it's a really cute little poker chip. We have Button Ben. Or mutton Ben, sorry, not button. Because if you take the B and the M, you know. <laughs> and it's, and we have all his stats over here, so you can actually use the button, which this is how the original game was. I could have gotten the buttons, but I chose for a, a less expensive solution. And then here we are, we've got um, little skull and crossbones. And now we have a bunch of stuff here. It looks like we've got... Sailor Moon, Sailor Moon Crystal, um, Dice Challenge from uh, Dice Kami Publishing Company. So I'm not sure exactly which game this is, but there's that. We have Cheap Ass Game, Give Me the Brain, three to eight minutes um, advert for. Uh, being a, a fry cook or fast food zombie worker. Uh, we have Flip, a clever little dice game. And it's got the rules on the back. And you can learn more at uh, oh, Cheap Ass Games are awesome. Blah, blah, blah. Cheapass.com. It says right down there at the bottom. They are a pretty cool company. I've really enjoyed them since I played um, Lord of the Flop. Lord of the Fries, Give Me the Brain, and uh, Kill Dr. Lucky. Those are the three games that I've played from them. And here we've got some extra bonus beat em, uh fighters. So we've got cops and everything here. 
and they've got the same stuff on the back that tells you more about each one so that is pretty awesome not only do we get the 48 that are in the in the box we also get all these extras here in uh, the fun envelope plus some little ads and stuff like that and we get mutton ben which is an actual button and uh it would be really fun to have all the buttons but i like the cards a little bit better they're a little bit easier to use a little bit uh more uh sleeveable and you won't lose them and these uh, the pin well actually this is a pretty high quality pin whoa it's not like the ones that i got at disney world that they had the the pin glued on the back this one actually goes through the the back part before it's crimped around it's a really high quality pin i like it i'm gonna have to find some place to put this probably in the base game so this has been button man a strategy dice game by james ernest and published by cheap ass games it has been a long time in coming for me to get this game and i'm extremely happy that i finally got it now i wish i could have gotten it signed by the developer uh, but yeah by the game developer but yeah that, that that's how the cookie crumbles can't always get it all so until next time this is excalibur please like comment and subscribe it always helps me out and i am out